It's time to be hopeful and to plan for your next biggest trip. Welcome to Travel Tastic, and today we are counting down our picks for the top 10 budget destinations to travel. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Travel Tastic and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Love traveling and keen for adventures? Travel can last much longer if done on a budget. Like this, many travelers move around the world not only spending less but also discovering places unknown to mass tourists. Thailand the Kingdom of Smiles is probably the best well-known budget destination. Have you heard of Thai massage, crystal clear waters of its island, paradisic hiking trails and tubing on its tumultuous rivers? All that can be done on an excessively tight budget. What is more, many places hold opportunities to travel virtually for free. Even though hitchhiking is less practiced than in the neighboring countries to the north, its monasteries offer free shelter and food, its streets have almost gratuitous water fountains, its beaches are bound in spots to pitch a tent, and its street food often sets you back less than a dollar. For those willing to explore in less extreme circumstances, public transport, family eateries and myriads of hostels are all relatively affordable with areas such as Chiang Mai Pai and the islands of Ko Thangan and Ko Samui being the most beloved by the wallet conscious travelers of all stripes not willing to expose themselves to the mainstream hellholes of Pattaya and Patong. Note that some areas in Koh Samui and the capital Bangkok can look rather upscale, but it is just a matter of a scooter ride to the areas within backpackers' pricing range from these tourist hotspots. In touristy areas, scooters are much cheaper than Sang Tawus and taxis, which in most spots monopolize transport services and refuse to go by official tariffs. All in all, Thailand loves money conscious and gratifies them with abandon. What about visas? Actually, the visas to the kingdom is not that straightforward a thing. The regulations change and you will have to do research before flying in for new rules regarding insurance, health checks and countries with unsafe epidemiological situations may be mushrooming once the borders are open. The best way to travel on a shoestring to Thailand for more than one month is to call its embassy and try to get a two-month visa with the possibility of a one-month extension. Note that overstay can be pricey and that visa runs to reapply a most prudent via plane. The plane ticket in and out of the country is a necessary prerequisite for the successful application. Also, keep in mind that the embassies in different countries differ in their approach to the visa applicants who have applied more than once. The most liberal of them is in Myanmar, Thai embassy in Yangon, while the ones in Malaysia and Hong Kong are considered tricky. Once again, it all depends on the embassy officer you chance upon. Myanmar. The often overlooked treasure of the East is Myanmar. Have you heard stories of how cool Bali is? Been there and think it is just crowds of avaricious entertainment workers and throngs of backpackers? Head to Bagan in Myanmar. The place is often compared to Bali prior to its discovery by a price-conscious backpacker and provides not just unique architecture, otherworldly charm and splendid cycling routes, it is also one of the few truly undervisited places with next to no bars and nightlife. Another spot popular with nature lovers is in Le Lake. With its unique boat experiences, some of Asia's best hiking trails and an ever-changing but still open and close-knit backpacker community. If willing to uncover the real Myanmar, head to its cultural capital Yangon. 
Here, the Mayfair architecture is covered in tropical mold and mildew and Gothic Cathedral sits right beside Golden Stupas. Its Schwedagon is arguably the world's most venerated and beautiful Buddhist site. To fully immerse, get yourself Kipling and Orwell who wrote extensively on the country. The prices, even in the most upscale establishment in Yangon, are rather affordable and $10 will procure a royal lunch in a sumptuous setting in colonial well-renovated and air-conditioned Burma Bistro with its stunning terrace and super-friendly personnel. Don't miss out on Rangoon Tea House with famous Myanmar tea. Mansion Hostel right in downtown will cost under $10 for a bunk in a common dormitory and it is clean, a must for the country. On the street, whole fish can set you back $1 or so. If willing to explore Myanmar seafood, head to Ngapali or lesser known Dawei Peninsula where because of lack of accommodation, all beaches are virtually uninhabited but for fishermen. The large hotel chains already rented the land so head there on a bike, no public transport to the best spots to unveil the last bit of pristine sand on the whole continent. Other popular destinations are Mandali with its stunning royal palace and Gapali, somewhat more developed beach destination. Note that places outside Yangon lack in night entertainment and customs are somewhat different from Thailand. But mouth-watering food, super friendly locals, amazing tea and French wine for $5 a bottle quite offset the lack of mass tourism infrastructure. Hurry up to still see this land untarnished by globalization. Note that exemptions, e-visas and visas on arrival have been introduced for some, mostly European and Asian countries. So entry to a once forbidden state is quite easy and straightforward. Kazakhstan. The magic of Silk Road lures you. Caravans, Azure Mosque Domes and Great Conquerors of the East and the delectable gustatory treasures of the Orient cause insomnia? Now you can feel Marco Polo by just booking a ticket via Skyscanner and finding a bed place on Airbnb. Head to Kazakhstan, arguably one of the best value destinations to eat meat of all kinds, travel like a local and live a life of luxury. Here, the regions to the west and the capital, Nur Sultan, offer quite a strain on a backpacker's financial ability. But head south to Skyim Kent or Saria Gah and you will find yourself in the region rich in agriculture and notable for its delicacies such as horse meat and mutton with rice. Also in the south is legendary Turkestan and the ruins of many a city destroyed by Chinggis Khan. Alma Ata is one of the most dynamic cities of Eurasia and offers opportunities for all tastes and budgets. Kazakhstan is best for those who don't just want to save their well-beloved funds but also their health. If traveling in Kazakhstan, don't miss out on a chance to become more healthy. Hike in the mountainous Mideo, ride a horse and most importantly consume enormous quantities of its dairy. Sour slightly inebriated Camus or Sour Mare's Milk Shubat, the camel's counterpart, and Eran, the fuel of the inexhaustible nomads of the steppe await you at the end of your journey to discover the magic of the Turan. And don't forget mutton. Uzbekistan. Another burgeoning backpacker's paradise is Uzbekistan. Here, Food is even more of a pillar of society and everything revolves around its bazaars where eating and drinking tea is a way of life. Its chai hannas or tea houses never stop pouring out tea, number 95, and attracting people dressed in dashing Uzbek dresses so bright and warming at the same time even in the heat of the summer which is sometimes just under 15 degrees Celsius. Real Uzbeks wear traditional coats, Chapan. Most tourists visit the land for its architectural treasures. Apart from minarets, 
palaces in all towns of former ancient states of Bukhara, Kokand and Kiva, you can find Buddhist temples in Tarmez or Russian colonial architecture in Tashkent, the capital. Just like Myanmar, the country is rapidly opening up to the world, so don't linger lest you miss the civilization before the onset of mass tourism. Note that granting of visas is being eased or cancelled for some countries in Europe and beyond. Call the embassy for first-hand information. Best time to travel is May when the step is green and the Popeyes are going up. Philippines. A traveler's paradise is the Philippines. Here, apart from eye-watering cheap beer, food and transport, one can find thousands of virgin islands and such unique things as natural terraces, hanging coffin villages and most crucially the quintessence of Filipino creativity, gypneys, trucks refurbished into works of art on wheels plying busy streets of cities and rural areas. Note that accommodation can be more expensive, but the fact that everyone speaks good English will make traveling and putting up easier. Don't miss out on couch surfing! While Luzon Island and Cebu are the most famous destinations, with their hiking spots and beaches to swim with sharks, Palawan and other lesser known destinations offer a unique chance to commune with nature and hide from the buzz of civilization. For the most unknown virgin locale, head to Santa Ana or Pagadpad on Luzon as surfers ideal. Also note that visas are easy and apart from exemptions for most nationalities, there is a chance to get a visa with a possible extension in installments for up to two years. Malaysia have you ever dreamt of visiting China, India and the southern seas on one trip? Head to Malaysia where it is possible. The country espouses all three cultures and apart from their respective cuisines, architecture and tongues offers something else. A millennia old respect for the traveler and super friendliness. Modern architecture, ease of easy rules for most countries, no need for visas, and ubiquitous English make traveling easier. For the world's best historical street art, stories of Chinese clan wars, mouth-watering Indian and Cantonese food, head to Penang. The island with its capital Georgetown preceded Singapore as a seat of British power in Southeast Asia and features architecture so similar to that of old USA with its Georgian and Victorian buildings making it along with Yangon and Kolkata a guilty passion of an Anglophile. With Malacca known as the Venice of the South and Kuala Lumpur pulling in crowds of shopaholics, Malaysia has plenty to offer. Don't fail to visit often overlooked Borneo with its unique Wayang puppet theater and nature unspoiled by mass tourism. And the Langavis are next on the list of beach destinations to make it big and offering super affordable lodgings. Note that despite being cheap, quite developed Malaysia offers accommodation, food and transport that are cheap and locals are super amicable and willing to help out. Russia Have you heard of Russian bears, Joseph Stalin and Iron Curtains? All but the bears are in the past and Russia is turning into one of the most attractive traveling destinations for the budget traveler. Apart from thousands of years of history, with sites in the Caucasus going back to eras before Christ and super cute communism time buildings, it is home to friendly people, yummy food and Europe's second largest city, Moscow. Don't leave off your list the Venice of the North, St. Petersburg, where white knights are accompanied with mind-eclipsing parties and its marvelous Kamchatka and Atlai with some of the world lesser-known nature hiking, surfing and skiing places. What is more, the Russian government is opening up the country, introducing hassle-free e-visas nationwide after a pilot trial already on the way on the regional level. 
you can visit St. Petersburg for eight days with a free regional visa and profit from ultra low accommodation prices. Hostels can set you back around $6, delicious swooping dinners for about 10 and nightlife and parties that seriously make Europe security analysts sweat cold sweat over their satellite images. Georgia. Have you ever wanted to know what it is like to be a billionaire in Switzerland? If you have not been there and if you have not earned loads of cash, you probably don't. But you have a chance to know. The mountainous paradise with fast flowing mountain streams and golden beaches is a country where there are in fact two religions. Apart from Christianity, it is a firm belief that food must be stunning and taste buds are the most revered saints of all. Here, Georgian wine, it is here that first wine was allegedly produced, flows beside the table full of cheese bread, fresh barbecued mutton and many local dishes that defy description for the sheer ecstasy they bring on the eater. Old architecture, unique culture and lax cannabis laws make it a favorite backpacker destination in Europe. So if still hesitating, head here for a year with sea, mountains and one of the world's oldest cultures all by your side. Yes, you have not mistaken anything. Georgian tourist visa exemption lasts one year for most countries and the flights are generally super cheap. Pack your bags. India. The most famous country to travel to on a shoestring budget is India. It is so large, diverse and rich in culture that one is at a loss how to start describing it. Let's try. Imagine a magnificent white palace fringed with groves of palm trees, cows grazing peacefully by and a lonely Maharani sitting swilling tepid masala tea and munching on a curry with gravy sensually covering its outlines. Miss nothing? Probably one should add that it is in India that billions were made on purchasing clothes, jewelry and cosmetics all super cheap and a unique opportunity to portray yourself as a Raja while traveling on a budget. Note that hostels, houses, transport, food are all quite affordable, people are friendly and even a visa valid for 5 years is available. Visa via internet can be a hassle so best go to an embassy. It can be done outside of your country of residence. Nepal. Have you ever dreamed of a world outside the reach of Western civilization? Of mountains that reach the sky, it is Nepal. Apart from mind-boggling cuisine, authentic culture and stunning pieces of architecture, it is where nature breathes. Head to Pokhara to get the sense of a city inhibited by backpackers like Pai or Chiang Mai in Thailand. Or go to Kathmandu, the thriving, bustling city in the Himalayas. Airfares are getting cheaper, visa remains easy to receive and cost of living stays one of the world's lowest. Go to Kumari Festival, the virgin deity shown to awe-stricken crowds or go to Shivaratri, the festival beloved by all lovers of Shiva when devoted sandhus consume tons of ritualistic cannabis, one of the world's most potent. Do you agree with our picks? Check out our other videos from Traveltastic and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.